Hey guys, John Faulkner here. With this builder series, I am going to take an in-depth look on my home defense setup, which is a Sig Sauer uh, P320 X5 Legion that I've put into a Flux Raider chassis. Uh, I know you guys have seen a, a lot of these uh, builds um, before with the Flux Raiders. And, uh, you know, mine is, is set up for a, a home defense uh, system. It could also make a fantastic bag gun. You know, it, it would fall into that role as well. Um, but this gun sits on my nightstand every night. Um, and if there's a bump in the night, this is the gun that I'm going to be grabbing. I've been building this gun out for probably eight months or so, uh, trying different pieces, different parts, different pick rails, different lights, uh, magazines, optics. I kind of, like gone full circle on, on a lot of things and, uh, and I'm starting to get it dialed in. Um, so like I said, um, I use the guts, the trigger pack and the barrel and slide out of a SIG P320 X5 uh, pistol from SIG Sauer. I dropped it into a Flux Raider chassis. Up front, you're going to see a Surefire uh, XVL2. This is the uh, model that has not only a white light, but an IR light as well, if that's something that you're looking for. I pre predominantly use it for the white light, but I love the fact that I have an IR if I'm wanting to just go have some fun at the range. And uh, they're all, the lasers are, are both co-witness, so it has a green laser on it and an IR laser, so I can use both. So that kind of gives me a second aiming device if something were to happen to my primary. Um, so the one thing that I like about this gun is how small it is, but I actually have quite a few um, primary and secondary options as far as magazines. I love the fact that uh, the Fluxurator chassis allows you to hold two magazines. 90, 95% of firearm uh, issues that happen, malfunctions, whatever you wanna call it, are caused by the magazine. It can be the ammo inside the magazine, which I consider magazine related, because if you get rid of the magazine, you get rid of the problem. So I love the fact that you can carry an extra magazine um, and if you have to change them out, you can uh, and get back to work. So if you ever had a malfunction uh, or you think you have a, a bad spring in a mag or anything like that, you could, you could quickly change the mags. Um, this gun probably changes mags faster than any other platform that I've ever seen with the quick release button up front that drops both mags at the same time. Um, it's crazy how fast you can get with a little bit of practice with it and we can we can demonstrate that as well um, So I, I love that fact of it with the Terran tactical base pads. These are plus fives I'm able to hold 22 rounds in each mag plus one in the chamber. So in this little package. I also have uh, 45 rounds of what I choose which is usually 124 grain uh, HST rounds in it. So 45 rounds in this small package um, let's talk about some of the accessories and stuff that I've put on it. We talked about the Surefire light up front. Um, this is a Virtus Concepts charging handle. One of the things with the Flux Raider is you can't really use the back serrations to cock it. You just don't have enough uh, room to, to charge uh, the firearm. So you can use the front cocking serrations. But the, uh, the Virtus Concepts charging handle, you know, it just gives you a little bit more options. Um, you know, you can grab it if you had to, you know, hook it off of a belt to, to charge it. Um, if you wanted to come around AK style, I don't know why, or if you're left-handed, um, you know, you, it makes it easy to, to charge from either side. Um, so I really, I like that being on here. There's a couple companies that have some that are up front. I just like the fact that this is in the back. It makes it a little bit more convenient for me. So I chose to go with that one. Um, up top here, I have the Trigicon MRO uh, optic on top. I've tried the, the RMR and, and smaller optics like that. I like the viewing window of the MRO better. Um, I run it in a low mount. You see some guys that are running like Unity mounts. They're trying to get a different um, cheek rest, you know, eyesight, you know, they're trying to, to manipulate a couple things. I found that when I put a unity mount or a higher mount on it, I just didn't really get a good cheek weld on it. My, the, the, the rail, when you extend the stock, which I'll do right here, um, I, was, I was getting really high instead of being able to get down and actually make a third point of contact on the rail if I was to bring it up, you know, to my shoulder. So I prefer to go with a low mount on the Trigicon MRO. Uh, it just works better for me. You might be a little bit different, but you know, I found this is what works 
best for me. Um, so that's what I went with. Um, and then, yeah, I've tried running different pick mounts on the side from Virtus Concepts. I prefer to just go with the one below to keep the package as small as possible. Um, and, you know, this has been a phenomenal gun. I've put pretty much any, any round through it. It eats it, it chews it up, it spits it out. The fast change magazine is, is amazing from the Flux Raider chassis. Um, it does have a manual safety, which most pistols do not come with. So if you flip that up, it actually uh, blocks the trigger. You can't pull it. So if that's something that you're looking for, um, you know, with, with being able to, to leave a firearm on a nightstand at night, or uh, if it just makes you feel more comfortable, you know, with it being in a house, you can have it. And it, it works very similar to like an AR magazine. I'd say it's like a 20 degree throw. It's really fast. Um, but once you pull it, you have a full trigger pull. So it kind of adds that manual safety if that's something that, that you're looking for that most SIGs don't get. Uh, it definitely has ambidextrous uh, and multi-placed uh, magazine releases. They're kind of everywhere. You have one up front, um, and then on the frame here, you have one on the thumb side. If you're, if you're right-handed, left-handers, sorry, you don't really have one. You just have um, that one. But um, you have one directly at your thumb. And then you have a mag release for the front, right under the front here. Uh, and then if you multi-press it, or hard press it, I should say, it actually releases both mags. So you can drop the main gun mag uh, to the ground and have the accessory mag or secondary mag, whatever you want to call it, uh, in your hand, which makes the fastest reloads that, that I can think of. So um, as far as a sling, I don't run a sling on this. I just choose not to because it's a home defense or in a bag setup and it usually just gets tangled um, trying to get it out, trying to get it on. And in most of those situations, you know, tenths of seconds are precious and you're just not gonna have time to throw it on. So I choose to just not, but it does have two QD mounts uh, if you wanted to put a QD sling in it. So, you know, that's, a, that's the quick and dirty of this setup. There's not much going on to it. I absolutely love it. I've shot this thing a ton. Um, and it's what I choose to use as my home defense setup. So I hope you like this build. Uh, and if you got any questions on it, feel free to leave them below. We always stick around to try to answer as many of them as we can. And if you're looking for firearms like this one or accessories or ammo, be sure to check out firearmsdepot.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.